everybody. I think this guy here, far as coaches goes, even as a player, but as coaches goes, sneaker head. Number one. Number one. Yes, sir. And, of course, we got to start off the bat. I'm looking uh, at your feet, LeBron yes. sixes. Yes. Know? The other day you had on a LeBron 20. Can you talk about the LeBron 20? Because, I mean, you've had it on your feet. You've yeah. ran in them and stuff. I mean, it's the first bronze I've ever gotten early. Even when I played for the Lakers, I didn't. I was more of a Kyrie, of a fit. But they were low top. I think it's his first low top and light. And so I made a call to uh, Ted, and one of the head Nike guys for Braun, and told him to me, he throw me a pair, and he threw it to me. And super light, comfortable. I haven't really hooped in it. Wait till these guys here in the season starts. But um, I think it's inspired by his, his kids and yes. stuff like that. But no, nah, I mean, dope colors. Uh, I think it's going to be one of his highest selling just because it's everyone's going to wear it. And the big knock on Braun, like these ones, even though they look fire, yeah. these are like Timberland, boy, yeah. heavy as you know what. But yeah. those, those 20 LeBrons, super light and comfortable. I like that. So I got to ask you, Mount Rushmore for sneakers. If you put four sneakers on the Mount Rushmore, and what I mean by that is like, say if it's you like Jordan 1, yes. LeBron 8, if you could put your Mount Rushmore of sneakers, what would they be by the silhouette? It would be the, uh, the Yeezys, Kanye, for sure. Okay. Jordan 1s, classics. Uh, I'm a Jordan 4s guy, me personally. Jordan 4s. Wow, let's give me a last one. How mm -hmm. can I be this one last one? I, I, I feel like we'd be... Well, you're a LeBron guy, so you got I am a LeBron guy. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna like the ones for LeBron, right. the ones. I, I'm gonna do one of LeBron's, but if not the bronze, I mean, shoot, um, I do the maybe the fives for Jordans. I mean, listen, man, Jordan could be all four, but the Yeezys for me is number one. Okay. Red Octobers. I like that. So yes, sir. Basically, LeBron six on yes. your feet. I got these in the summertime. I got them because they were Mavs color. You know, they're the sixes. Um, I got a lot of different stuff. I got some pennies coming here. I mean, as a, as a player. I stuck with one shoe and wore it the whole time for the season. Yep. So it was Kyrie's. I would just get a lot of different flavors because about that time it was about my feet and performing. But now I'm a coach. It doesn't matter. So I come with all Yeesh. heat. I'm running five feet and back. So it doesn't even matter. I don't even wear no insoles. So for this one, it's that. And I'm the next, the new generation of head coaches soon to be when it comes up here where you got to have flavor. You see J. Kidd with some of his old shoes. And so that's the new generation of coaches where Chauncey is a – Wear the nice kicks, relate to the young boys, and uh, have some fun with it. Speaking of coaching, so obviously you're part of the staff. Yeah. And you're a champion. You know you know what it takes to be a champion. This team gets to the Western Conference Finals last year. Yes. What do you see in this new part of this Mavs team? Because obviously adding JaVale, Christian, and those guys makes this team a lot better. But what do you see in this team? I so, see it's, uh, it's we're, we're trying to mold it. It's different. You know, you, as, as a coaching staff, your team changes every year, especially the NBA. We lose a, a guard in Brunson, add C. Wood. C. Wood potential is unlimited. How can we tap into it? Him playing all these different teams. He's definitely special. He's three ball, his post. JaVel, uh, another veteran who can talk, help with our leadership. He has someone like that. Tim comes back. So what you're trying to do is keep our culture and our bases being a top five defense, which the Mavs before the staff was it. We were last year. I think we were six to barely, barely missing out on it. Offensively, give the ball to Luca. And after, besides getting the ball, Luke is give him options. Give the ball where if he doesn't have it, now we have Spencer. They'll have it. But to us, uh, it's about Tim. It's about C. Wood and, and health. And we, we have a couple of wild cards when it comes to that, and they've been doing well. Uh, as a player, as a coach, a lot of times you show up in September. These guys were here in August. Uh, they've been working their butt off. And so now this West is no joke. Nope. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be a good team that's going to be in the play-in. And so for us, it's, it's, uh, it's starting it now, and uh, I'm glad we got 7-7 seven, seven on our team, and we're going to follow his lead and keep it going. I like that. A few more questions real yep. quick. So I did the Mount Rushmore sneakers, but yep. I got to ask you this. You played against a lot of legends. Yes. If you did the Mount Rushmore of guys that you played against. Played against? Yes. Who would be the four? Uh, Kobe, Shaq, Braun, and – Ooh, that fourth one stuff. You have Dirk, you got KG, you got T Mac. Tim Man. Duncan. Tim Duncan. Duncan. Yeah. Duncan. Yeah. I'm going Duncan on that one. Sorry, Mass fans. No, 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 no. Yes. That's, no, you can't even send Duncan. Yeah. No way. All right, last question, man. So I'm trying to think about this. So we'll do we'll end it with a Luca question for you. Okay. So I think a lot of people know how, how great Luca is, but uh -huh. for you to be up close and see what he's doing, what would you say is his most underrated skill as a player? Um, the deception of if he's going to shoot the ball or pass, 
uh, he's so big. 77 is a, uh, he can definitely handle it. He can shoot it. Yo, he lying. Listen. Whatever he says he is not the truth. Hey. He's just lying. It's all cap, no facts. I'm going to tell you guys <laughs> hey, about Brendan Hayward. Brendan Hayward used to be one of the top five Madden players back in the day before he had a job. Uh, no, but the, thing about, <laughs> the thing about Luca is, man, his side, his, his deception, I don't know when he's going to pass or shoot. So it's, it, it's, it's the cat and the mouse game that you're playing with these bigs at all time. And he's so big and slow and methodical with his pivots. And so to me, it's his deception of if he's going to shoot or pass. We know the step back. We know the handle. Um, and we know he's a great passer. But I, don't, I personally, as a coach, when we're trying to guard him in practice, hey, listen, stay between him and the basket. Be ready to X out if he passes it. And I don't even know because it's so last minute of his deception, man. So his variety of shot making and him be able to shoot the ball from the paint, the floaters, one leg, is such at a high level, man. That's what makes him so unique. Well, Jerry, man, I appreciate your time. Man. Anytime, brother. Season, brother. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank you. Yeah.